Now we're gonna create a new C sharp script and we're gonna call it input manager. Now we're gonna need this this script to control our inputs for the vehicle. We're gonna initialize some float variables at uh, we're gonna initialize some float variables, public floats. The first one is gonna be vertical. And the second is gonna be horizontal. And the third one is gonna be a Boolean value and break. Alright. In the fixed update, all we're gonna do is put these values to you. So vertical is equal to input manager dot A capital I get axis vertical. Next one is horizontal. And the handbrake we go in uh, input settings the handbrake is jump here, space so we're gonna use jump but that jump uh, that jump will give you a value from 0 to 1 So this, this value returns a 0 to 1. So we're going to copy that and we're going to say if that bigger than 0 or let's say if it's not equal to 0 return true else return false. Okay, this is our input manager done with. Now let's import the input manager the roadmap. Just by saying private input manager input manager. Can't call it that. Let's call it just I am. think we can call it in start so let's create a uh, get objects method right here with empty primer now let's let's get this input manager Okay, let's make it public so we can see if it works. Okay, we don't have it attached. Attach it here. Okay, yeah, it works. Let's make this private. And let's use the values from here. So instead of having this into the fixed update, we're gonna copy it. We're gonna say a new method. We're gonna call it move vehicle. Right. 
we're gonna copy all those values. And of course we're gonna say move vehicle in fixed update. Okay. So in order to use the values from here. Okay, so in order to use these values from the input manager, I am right here. We're gonna have to say the total wheel torque is equal to wheel torque if the W key is pressed. Now we don't need that. But we need to say this for loop. Let's delete this if statement. And let's say that for loop. Instead of the motor torque, we're gonna say I am input manager dot vertical times the motor torque. And we're gonna do the same for the horizon horizontal. But instead of using this else statement. We can just say input manager dot horizontal times the steering. Okay, so if this is zero times whatever this value is, is always going to return zero. So the wheels are going to stay straight. Let's test it. Okay, yeah. It works. Perfect. Next thing in the list is uh, the motor torque. So right now all wheels are getting the same motor torque. So if we say 100 units, every wheel is going to get 100 units. But we want to feel, we want the uh, vehicle to feel as realistic as it can. So we're gonna split the power. But before splitting the power, we're gonna set the vehicle drive. So we can so we can change from front wheel drive, rear wheel, or all full four wheel drive. So to do that, we're gonna use a enum. So let's say internal enum and the name of uh, the enum is going to be drive type. We're going to say front wheel drive rear wheel drive and all wheel drive private drive type uh, let's call it wheel drive. Let's call it just drive. Okay, so in move vehicle, we're gonna ask if drive is equal to drive type all-wheel drive. If it's all-wheel drive, we want a total Load total power is equal to none. If it's all wheel drive, we want this for loop. W 
the power if it's all wheel drive we want the power to split in four motor torque let's put this in brackets slash four so it's gonna divide the the all the power slash four in four in four wheel else if the drive is equal drive type front wheel drive or rear wheel we want the we want all the power to go to the rear wheel drive so instead of starting from zero we're gonna start from two to split the, the power into half and else we want the power to go to the front wheels so we use the same for loop instead of from zero we go to the length minus two okay this is the steering this let's keep our code organized let's say let's uh, make another block of code and let's call it steer car or steer vehicle private and for now steering is only gonna do this I forgot to say in here serialize field so it shows up in the in here okay let's let's keep it in for front wheel drive let's enable gizmos now let's drive okay so one way we can try if we can see if the only the front wheels are spinning is by of course giving more power so if we can see that is sliding Okay, so the drive type is working.